What's up guys, it's Steve here with another Walking Dead review. This time I'm reviewing Season 7, Episode 5, entitled Go-Getters. And this episode, I like this episode. In my opinion, we had three slow episodes after that awesome premiere. And I was really hoping this wasn't going to be a slower episode because now we're seeing the hilltop for the first time. But they didn't focus on one story, which they did in the other three episodes. So they focused on two different stories, mainly two different stories, a couple different locations, which I think they should be doing with most of the episodes this season. But it was a lot easier to get into this episode, and that's what I liked about it. So the two main stories that they focused on were Maggie and Sasha at the hilltop and Enid running away and Carl going after her and then kind of this like romance between Enid and Carl. So after giving us all a scare, it turns out that Maggie is just fine. Uh, she did have separation of the uterus from her placenta, but her baby's fine. She's fine. She's looking a lot better than she did before. It doesn't look like she has the fever or anything, but the doctor recommends that she stays at the hilltop and Gregory is trying to force them out, basically because he's just a coward and he's afraid of the saviors and he's afraid of what they're going to do with them. This also goes and explains why they didn't have any guns, why when we first saw them last season, they had like the spears with the with the rocks and the sticks, um, because Negan had probably taken them all. Now, I think they kind of know that Gregory is working with Rick and Alexandria because they set up this, this reminder that Simon said where they put the car in and they blasted music and all the walkers came in and then they were going to come in and clean all the walkers out tomorrow to remind them why they need them but then the hilltop community led by sasha and maggie cleaned them out themselves so i think that the saviors might actually be on to them now and gregory definitely thinks that the saviors are on to them so i actually thought that gregory was going to die this episode but he didn't we did see that he's a coward and jesus is kind of having enough of his shit so he keeps threatening jesus with running the community so if if I don't run the community, then the community is going to go to shit. No one wants to step up and be the leader, but he's not really being a good leader. Um, and Jesus says that he doesn't think that he could lead either, but we all know who can lead, and that's Maggie. And Maggie will eventually take over the Hilltop community. Something is going to happen to Gregory. He's probably going to die or get overthrown, but I think he's probably going to die, probably by the hands of the Saviors or Negan or maybe even a Walker. And then we will see Maggie step into that leadership role. And she's going to band them together with Rick's team eventually when Rick and everyone in Alexandria kind of has enough of Negan. And together they will go up against uh, the Saviors and Negan's crew. And who knows, maybe we'll actually even see the kingdom in there too with uh, King Ezekiel. So it definitely was a change of pace from the previous couple episodes. Um, still not much happened, but I did think that it was just more enjoyable because in, rather than focusing on one story, I focused on a couple different stories. And then at the end of the episode, we got to see that Carl had jumped into the truck, and so did Jesus. And in the comics, Carl does hide, uh, but he hides between some mattresses, and then springs out once they get back to Sanctuary and shoots a bunch of Negan's men. And Negan actually, rather than getting mad, is actually impressed. So I think we can see something like this happen next week, where Carl's going to spring out. He's going to shoot a bunch of Negan's men. Negan's going to be impressed. I don't know what's going to happen with Jesus. Maybe Jesus will just kind of like lurk or be undercover or maybe they'll be in it together. But I think that because they don't know that the Hilltop and Alexandria are working together yet, I mean, they're going to have to know now, now that Carl jumps out of a truck that left the Hilltop, you know? So I think that we're going to see Negan finally realize that, hey, these two communities know each other and there might be some repercussions for that. We will probably also get a more in-depth look of the Sanctuary next week too, when that happens. So that's what we have to look forward to. Uh, if I were to grade this episode, I'd actually give it like an 8.2. Uh, some people didn't like it. I actually thought that it was uh, more entertaining than the previous few episodes that we got. But let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Please like, favorite, subscribe. Check out all of our other videos over on our channel, Cool Nerd Show. And uh, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that Carl's going to spring out? Do you think that Jesus is going to get caught? Do you think Jesus is going to die? What do you think is going to happen to Hilltop? Is Gregory going to remain in charge or is he going to die? Um, please post your comments in the comment section below. And please, if you have the chance, subscribe to our channel, check out all of our other videos, and I will see you guys over there.